Hello guys, today we're going to be building the, I can't even get in shot right now, the Hydra slash Wyvern kit from GW. So I'm just going to take you step by step through how to build this thing. It's the first time I've ever built it, so um, tools you're going to need. You're going to need a pair of clippers, hobby knife, preferably with a sharp blade, not a blunt one. Set of files. I've got a fully rounded one, and my camera's falling. Why are you doing this? Okay, right. Okay. Nope, it just doesn't want to stay up there. Don't buy shit off Amazon. It's shit. It never stays up tidy. Okay. Um, a set of files. I've got a full round one. A, like, like one set on it's got three forty-five degree angles on it. Set for sixties, I think they are. I can't remember my angles from school. Let's try and get my tripod. I bought a tripod of Amazon and it's just fucking shit. I got like a triangle one by here for getting into corners, and I got a flat one with a rounded edge. And also got one. Some uh, sandpaper, which I can't seem to find at the moment. <laughs> Basic sculpting tool, plastic putty, and plastic cement glue. So, uh, let's begin with opening up this funny thing. I'm doing this half asleep and I've had a drink, so please excuse the slowness. comes in this kit. Okay, right. So it's a two sprue kit. You get the box standard Chimera one, which comes in every Chimera Hellhound Bassless kit. And then you get the kit, which comes with all the Hydra parts on, which looks pretty cool. And hopefully, I'm planning on sticking some magnets on this bad boy. What gets me is it says you can have a heavy stubber, but I don't see the bit for the heavy stubber. Why is this? Oh, and even comes with the two crew, which I think is pretty cool, but I won't be sticking them on as of yet. You get the decal sheet and then you get the instruction manual. I probably need the instruction manual for when we get further on into the build. But okay, Just have a quick gander so I can see what I need. Okay, build the two hull sides, put the hull together, put the back plate. Then you put the Hellhound top on, well the Hydra top on. So the first part you want to do is begin by clipping out all of the side panels for this kit. La, 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 la. Clip them out in any old fashion, try and get as close to the model as you can so it reduces the flash in. One, two, little, 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 before I started YouTube, I used to love watching people build models. I used to find it, find it more satisfying than actually building them myself. Because somebody was doing the work for me. But it's fun when you build one of each Imperial Guard tank. It gets boring when you build loads. I mean, I've built two Hellhounds, seven Sentinels, eight Rasses, four Chimeras. Oh, what else have I built? I built two, oh, I built four basilisk kits. Two of them I converted into producers, two of them are basilisks. Uh, what else have I built? Uh, I built a magical kit. I sold it. Because I didn't like the wall strip. And plus the kit was pretty plain to build. Doing like this is, looks like it's going to be a bit of fun. 
So, okay, so that's all the whole pieces clipped off for now. So what I'm going to do is we'll just begin by cleaning up all the, all the flashing and mold lines off. So I like to begin with the two inner panels, the ones with all the squiggly line bits on here are the inner panels, so the um, Chimera kit. So we're going to begin by just filing off all the flash and moving any mold lines on them, which there normally isn't any. Once I've done this bed, I will be zooming in so you guys can see a bit better. It's just this new tripod I got is a it's one of those flexy ones and it just doesn't seem to stand up right. The legs just unbend themselves in the position I had them in. I'm sorry for the messy desk. I'm a very messy person in my own space. Working everything, I'm like an OCD manic. Um, So that's the one. It doesn't take long to do these. Once you've done one, you know how to get away with them all. And plus, I'm not really worried about too much about the side skirts, as they're going to have extra armor paneling, as future bit of on in the video. I'll be adding some of my own detail and gubbins onto this to make it a bit more stylish. Paint there makes it a bit harder, but it's all fun and games. Right. So that's the two inside panels filed down. We want to kind of do next is now do the base of the floor. The inside of the tank. I never understood why they did a detailed grid on the inside by here. Conversion wise, or something. But when it's GW, I thought about us doing conversions. They just like make us buy a million kits just to do one conversion. So, and next, you want to do the front plate, this bit. It's a madhouse. Right. I think that's it. When you've got a good set of files, you don't have to you don't have to file for too long. Right. So what we want to kind of do is get one side of the do it this side so you can see. You want to get the floor base. What it does is you can find a notch there. That's where this sits in, and there's a notch on the back side by here, a little notch there. That's where you line it up, and that will go in like so. And I need a lighter. I'll just do my lighter. I lost the lid for it, so I have to keep melting the glue out of there. So I would highly suggest you do this in a very well ventilated area. As I believe melted glue in the air is not very good for your health. So just run so just run the glue on the side like that. And Begin by putting that into place. Then we press and hold for a couple of seconds. Then I would leave it lying down like that. It doesn't matter if it falls too much in this side because the glue takes 24 hours to set tidy and it'll mean you will have an easier time bending it back, which you probably won't have to do because I've got to put on the top piece. So the next piece we want to go on is the front plate. So on this now, you want to run glue across this groove, across here, and then up through the middle. The top plate to sit on. 
and then two types of glue on this plate by here. Like so. Well, it's a tiny bit of a gap. It's not going to be too noticeable when we get the next pair. So, and then basically repeat for this piece, go on this side. So, near. Yeah. Easier than that. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to put. I'm so poorly prepared for this, it's unbelievable. I just had an elastic band. Well, I had, or did have, somewhere. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then I would recommend you put an elastic band on the parts we've just glued. Pull them together tightly and hopefully close up any gaps. So, like so. So, that's the first part then of the kit. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this dry and then what we'll do is we'll finish off building the rest of the hull. See you in a second. Okay, now guys, now that we've got this um, camera set up at angle, these two parts are dried. So, I've already gone and filed off the two plates, the two bits of just form the shape into the hydra. And we won't be doing, we'll be going to a bit of a thing in a minute now. And the next thing we'll do is put this lower plate into the hull. Let's begin by putting a good spread of glue on the back. A bit there, a bit there. I'm right handed so I should have set this up to the left. Oh, see I can never get this camera angle thing tidy. So with that in now, we'll have to begin by moving the, uh, the rest of the side panels. For this just fill these legs up with some glue and it doesn't have to be a lot because you'll press it in to the bottom and it will create a very secure hole. Let me just begin by Printing the right side, pushing this one like so, and this one on like so. That now holds all of that. So we've now got a piece of cloth. Um, I won't be putting on the tracks as of yet, as I want to keep them off for painting purposes, as this tank will be primed green, and I do want to prime the tracks green and then have to hand paint black when I can just prime them black on the sprue. Clip them off, um, paint them, clip them off, and stick them onto the petrol tank. So we're going to do it again. We're going to use two elastic bands just to pull these two parts of the hull together. Uh, break one. Okay, good start. Oh, I swear to God, I'm losing my mind. Dreaming I had more elastic bands than that. Uh, no, I still must be dreaming. So, right. so um, the next dilemma is the way I paint my tanks is I paint all the interior black and um, white. Uh, grey, and get the right colour. And this part of the tank would be grey, and this back piece by here would be grey, and that would be green. So, what I'll be doing is, I will be gluing these two pieces on. What I'll do is, I'll leave these off for painting purposes, and I'll prime this back bit grey, and um, this back bit green, the front of this green, mask off the rest, then prime the rest in grey, just to speed up painting. So these two will be glued up next, so we're going through this kit pretty quickly. I mean, I've only been off camera for five minutes, so it hasn't really been that long. 
do that bit done now, we can now look at the next part. We won't be putting the hull mounts on yet, because I haven't decided. Next is the turret ring, and oh, do I have to go to crew now? Can I do the crew later? Hmm. Dilemmas, dilemmas, dilemmas. Okay, for this, you are going to need. Let's start with part 35, 34, and 29. And part 10. So, part 10 is the actual bit by here, which the guy stands on. This slots in there like so. It spins around quite prettily. And then it was part 35, 34, and 29. So part 29 is this doobie by here. The numbers are marked on the sprue if you didn't know. If you turn to the flat side. Uh, 29, what the hell is 29? It's like, game of voice search there. No, 34, I'm looking for that. Yeah, 34 and 35. The next to this crew guy, and then these two parts by here. The shoulder braces. I would be very careful with these parts, because these parts look really flimsy. I don't like flimsy parts. So... Off as close to the sprue as we can. Um, what other parts do we need for the base of the turret and ring? Hmm. Just that by the looks of it, for now. Um, so, what we'll do is now we'll start by cleaning up the uh, flashings off the bracing bit, part 29. Nice and flash. Then we'll get my hobby knife and just clean off any of the mold lines which are remaining. I hate painting my mold lines. I didn't know what they were first when I started the hobby. They always said you clean off your mold lines, all your mold lines, and I didn't realise that these were the fine or annoying lines which always show when you paint. So I mean, so you do learn something every day. So that will slot into there like so, and that will hope will probably rotate the crew guy on it. Then these bits, I am probably going to use my cylinder file for this. I just twist it and rotate it like that when going back and forth. So, this is such a fine piece. I don't want to flatten these parts. So just. Back and forth and twist it. There will be bits of the video where I you'll see me searching for an hour looking for one little piece, which I find out later in the video I didn't really need. So that happens. Then we'll just clean off any mold lines with a knife. There's not many on that one. Okay. I reached another dilemma on the kit. Oh no, the square fits. Okay, so these are square sockets, so they will only fit in one way. Dab of glue in each one. And 
this way I don't look like a little fiddly bits. You should line up straight enough. Oh, I see I'm already struggling. Seems about right. So there's that. So that's the gun holding bit done. Well, the gunner's position. Now I can see how it looks like. I believe. Um, oh, and I've glued them upside down already. <laughs> Peel these off a bit. Um, like so. Oh. That's that bit done, so we can leave that to dry. Okay, next bit is going to be the gun mag bin now. So it's good gun control primes, which is the two sidearms which hold the weapon. So you're going to need part 11 and 12, 14, 13, 28 and 28. So these two, then there's two of these round discs, and then the two little wheels that you're going to need. So let's begin by clipping them out. So I probably leave these in wrong again. What we'll do is we'll leave the little wheels off till last because they're lost. And then what we're going to do is now just begin by cleaning up all of the gun mantles. Then clean off the holes, the guns. Just clean off any mold lines. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
When cleaning off the mold lines, be careful not to remove the rivets off the actual model, as it will stick up like a sore thumb when painted when you're missing rivets, especially on the newer kits as they're a lot more posing than what it was on the previous kits. So what we're going to do, we're just going to begin by taking the turret ring and line up these parts. So this bit where the piston kicks in sits on the inside. So put that will be there, there, and there. And that will be in like so. Here, 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 here. Also sits in. So, so what we do is now, I'm gonna let these parts all dry together, and then we'll move on to the next part. And I also need to get my charger, which we'll see you in a second. Okay, guys, I've managed to get some charge on my phone. Let's just move out of the way. So those have dried on now. We're gonna begin by gluing on the wheels, which the um, the elevation wheels onto the sides mantling by here there's like a tiny little let me see it oh there's a tiny little pinhole by there which they go into so we're just gonna glue those on my glue wants to come out we have to heat it up and melt it again Dab glue in each one. We're trying to line these up straight dish so they're both matching each other. So so they also go on like that. So what we do, we're going to leave them to dry a minute. Now, the next bit is going to be the gun mantling. The gun shield. So you have two parts, well, you have three parts. The gun shield itself, the radar bit, and the screen with this. I mean, I really like the screen. It's like a really old steampunkish theme to it. I already glued the handle on because I dropped it twice and I got fed up of losing it, so I just glued it on quickly. So this goes on the back, this goes on the front. So we'll begin by going on the back bit. Like so, onto the pegs. I've really dry fitted all this off camera. There's two there's four pegs there which it lines up with. Yeah. And that just slots in like so. Uh, the gun shield will not be glued on in this video as I want to be able to take off so I can paint that because that's really really cool. And then the front shield. Uh, glue that on. And that sits behind that seam there on the gun shield. And that's the gun shield gun. And the gun shield just simply, well, we don't even need to glue it on to be honest here. These peg bits there. It into those slots for there, like so, and I pull off the radar, like so. so. This and that's the gun shield on, so it fits on pretty smoothly. And then this will just sit on the back of the tank, like so. so. As you can see, the rotate on the tank. So that's that bit done, so we'll take that off, leave those two bits to dry. Then we're just going to want to glue on the gun mantles for the tanks. Now, on these, there are two cross pieces on each side of the gun mantle, by here and by there, and they line up. 
with these parts. So make sure the bigger cross is pointing down with the smaller cross pointing outwards. And then they just glue on as simply as that. For these I'm gonna use plenty of glue because I don't want these breaking off on one game. So begin by gluing on. But remember to keep the long bit at the top and they glue on as simple as that. So I'm just glue the other one on. This is pretty, when you look at it, this is a pretty basic quick kit to build. But I can see you can paint this in an hour, realistically, which is pretty good. Pretty simple, pretty fun to build. So that's them two coming together now. Now we're going to move on to some of the minor details on the hull. We're going to be able to begin by placing the back walkway on. So this is all glued, um, and these, you've got to try and centre like that, but it kind of rests on these two bits there. On the back, let's try to fit it first, to show you. And it fits in like so. And how to know if you lined up straight. These little notches in there will line up these two bar bits on the back of there. Let's begin by putting a bit of glue into the back of the tank, like so, and then we'll just line them up. So that's how they done. So we close the glue for the glue to dry. Begin by clipping out the next bits we're gonna need. So the next bits we are gonna need is the handrails. Then we're on to actually building the guns itself, which means the kit's heat up. But I don't want to do the guns yet as I'm gonna do a bit of magnets on them. What have been missing? What have I got a spare wheel for? Oh, you get a spare wheel with this kit just in case you lose one. Pretty good GW wheeler. So we're just going to begin by flipping out the handrails. And these are parts 33 and 9. So parts 33 and 9. So I'm going to try and twist that one drop on it. So one over there. There's four uprights and then there's the actual handrails themselves to be cut out as well. The handrail, which is part nine, and the screws, and then can't find the other bit. Oh, down, move any malt lines off them, best you can, so fine detail, I think with the handrails, well with the handrails I'm just going to use my hobby knife and cut off the flashings, so it's just so fine and I don't really want to break these, do two at a time because these are quite fiddly. Oh, 
Okay, so when it comes to the assembly of, assembly of the handrails, with a handrail piece like that, what you want to do is just put a dab of glue there, dab of glue there, and get the handrail piece just inserted through, and then the same on the other side, like so. Then you want to take the back of the tank, put two dabs of glue in these notches by here, by there, and try and insert them with pushing the parts out. Now I use plenty of glue for these, these are not as good as the basilisk ones. Basilisk ones you just put in and glue the handrail to the top. That's a personal preference, so there you go. So that's the one handrail done. Next one. Repeat the same process again. Double glue on the top. Quickly cut off these flash ends. So. the two handrails glued onto the tank. So, so far we've completed the hull. We've got the turret built. The gun mantlin is also built. And the gunner's controls also. built. So guys, I'm going to call it a day here now, because I'm pretty tired, and I'll see you in the next part of Let's Build a Hydra slash Wave and Flank Tank. So, see you in the next video. Try guys.